I woke up this morning and a question crossed my mind straight away. It's a question I asked myself first thing this morning. It's a question I want to ask you and it is directly related to last week's video when we talked about joy. I want you to ask yourself how much you're enjoying yourself. Now, we bandy the word around enjoy or enjoyment regularly without really thinking about what the key piece of that word is all about. Enjoy. We're talking about how much joy there is in your life and the extent to which you are or are not enjoying your daily life. The fact of the matter is that many people to whom I speak, for the first time certainly, couldn't say that there is a whole heap of joy in their life. Many people will admit to doing what they're doing for the sake of having to do it or to go through the motions to do it or to pay the bills or they're doing it because they can't think of anything else to do or worse they're afraid to do something they'd really love to do but the upshot of it all is that between the stresses and strains of everyday life and how that often impinges on work-life balance and indeed on our health most people hand on heart will not be able to say they're enjoying themselves day to day. Now if you're not enjoying your life, you are not living. Instead, what you're doing is experiencing what's going on in your life through the fog created by the thoughts that we use to make sense, or actually, in actual fact, nonsense of what is going on in the moment. And that takes the joy out of the moment. Now, you're possibly thinking to yourself, if I have a job that I don't like, how can I have joy in my life? How can I be enjoying that? And of course the key piece of the sentence I said a moment ago, if I have a job I don't like, how could I be enjoying myself, is the I don't like bit. Your job is your job. If you don't like it, you have two choices. Number one, well actually you have one choice and two options. Number one, you could choose to change your job or number two, you could choose to change your mind. In other words, change your perspective. The reason I give that as an example is, well, first and foremost, it is actually quite a common example. Most people don't enjoy their jobs. And if you were to believe surveys, and they're surveys rather than research, about two thirds of people don't like the job they're doing. And as I've just said, they have a choice. We have a choice moment to moment as to whether we are enjoying ourselves or not. If you are not experiencing joy in your life right now. If you're not enjoying your day, your life is passing you by. And as I said, you have a choice. How do you exercise that choice? How do you decide I'm going to enjoy my day? Well, the first thing and the obvious thing you need to do is stop yourself and appreciate the moment. You need to, in effect, press the reset button by taking a few moments to come to your senses and realize that for starters, there's a joy in simply being alive in this moment. That's what we were talking about last week. Also, in coming into the moment and becoming aware of the moment, you provide yourself with the capacity to, to better focus on what you're doing and transform a moment that seems to be devoid of joy into a moment that you can enjoy by virtue of the fact that you've done something that you think you don't like but you've done it better because you were more focused because you were more present because you did press the reset button. The point I'm making is that the simple example I gave you that people don't enjoy their job can be transformed by changing how you see what's going on, changing how you experience what's going on and changing how you do what you do in the moment that in itself is a transformative activity. 